Our country is the luxury. Country is eldest. Country is heart. Country is belonging. Country is culture. Country is friends, family, school, community. Country is life. Thank you for giving us this new day. In everything we think, say and do. May others see that you love on each one of us. Help us to make good choices. To treat people with love. And to walk in your ways. We ask this. Through Christ our Lord. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Father and Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Live from Trinity Nifty News with K12. Whale migration, and is that Migaloo? A purple pig called Poppy becomes an IGA sensation. Nemo's dad Marlon and Jesus. How does a clueless clownfish have a story like Jesus to tell? And wild weather hits our city. Good afternoon, I'm Eddie Elephant and for our first story tonight we cross to Ivy and Monty who are on the east coast with eyes peeled for Australia's famous white whale, Migaloo. Over to you, Ivy. Yes, here we are on the east coast of Australia. We've seen about two plus of, of whales go past so far. We're not sure if Migaloo was in the migrating pods, but we've certainly seen lots of mothers with their calves. Now, Migaloo is a bumpy all-white humpback whale. An adult male humpback whale can reach up to 13 metres in length. The blue whale can reach up to 30 metres in length. Humpback whales can make noises that can be heard from up to 20 metres in 20 miles away. Only male humpback whales can sing. Humpback whales are carnivores. Humpback whales feed on small schooling fish and krill. Migaloo is a bumpy humpback whale. The male is called a bull and the baby is called a calf. The female humpback is called a cow. The blue whale is the biggest whale of all. They eat krill and little fish. Back to you. Thank you, Ivy. We'll take a short break for everyone's favourite show. Guess my word. Guess my word. Clue number one. If I had a pocket full of lollies, this, this would happen. Clue number two. It means? It means as the same as the same as sticking out. Clue number three two syllables and seven letters. Guess my word. Did you guess it? The word was bulging! Guess my word! Clue number one. A very hungry dog. A very hungry dog. Looks like this. Looks like this. Clue number two. It means the same. It means the same. As skinny. As skinny. Clue number three. It has seven letters. It has seven letters. And stuff. That starts with the S. Ends with a Y. End with a Y. Did you guess it? The word is scorny. Guess my word. Clue number one. 
line. A mother line. A mother line would do this to keep her baby safe. Clue number two. It means the same as? It means the same as? Guard. Guard. Clue number three. Clue number three. It has? It has. Seven letters? Seven letters. And it starts with a P. And it starts with a P. Did you guess it? The word is? Protect. Protect. Guess my word. Clue number one. Clue number one. You need to go this way. You go into this thing. Two mama two. It means the same as one. Two mama three. Has two 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 It has two syllables. Two whistles and and have have different wedges. Did you get it? Did you get it? The word is really bad. Morning and welcome back to the Weather Reporting Roosters. My name is Ivy Corkill and my helper today is Monty Lucas. He's reporting from Sydney, New South Wales. In Sydney, the winds are high and is travelling 90 kilometres per hour. The winds have moved from Sydney to Hyder, New South Wales. Over to you, Monty. Hi, I am in Sydney and the... And the weather is horrible, as you can see from the weather cam. There are storm clouds gathering over the city, and in five days, they're expected a cyclone. Betty is headed this co for the coast. It is windy, and the humidity is at 96%. So we are in for a long, stormy week. Back to Ivy in the studio. Thank you, Monty. We will, we will be back in a short break. This is a poem written by K12 called Poppy Had a Purple Pig. Poppy Had a Purple Pig. Everybody, welcome to our breaking news live from the Trinity News. Today we're going to explain what it was like last week. There has been hurricane-like winds all over southern New South Wales. There has been a complete chaos all over the area of New South Wales. The the weather cam from yesterday shows what it was like and sent it to our weather bar. The weather bar shows that the temperature was about 12 degrees Celsius and was raining like crazy. It, the speed of the wind was 212 miles per hour. It sure was windy. The next day was just the same, with speeds of, of up to 175 miles per hour. And over to Basil. Thanks, Basil. Winds 
and heavy. And heavy when has what is the hold down most healthy start water up to up the distance. Distance. Benches. What how many people are homeless? More damaging the way louder. Rain is infected and they are all dead and are still weak. Back to you, Henry. And it looks like we've lost Henry, possibly due to that flooding Basil was reporting on. So while we fix some technical issues, here's a word from our sponsor here at Trinity News. Don't. Jesus faced many challenges and people who betrayed him and tried to bring him down. Marlon and Nemo, no, Marlon and Dory, Marlon and Dory came across a group of sharks who betrayed, who betrayed their trust and tried to eat them. Marlon's mission to find Nemo was born from great love. 
It was an important journey, but not as important as the mission that Jesus lived out. Jesus left heaven to come to earth because he loved us so much. Marlon swam the ocean to find and rescue Nemo. Jesus left heaven to find and rescue us. For our weekly local hero story, we crossed the local legend, Bill the Bastard in Murrumburra. It was described that he had the lungs and heart of an elephant. He had the power, intelligence and unmatched courage that stood above all the 200,000 Australian horses sent, sent to the Middle East the, in the Great War. He was 17 hands high and with a long back and with a big rump. The first person to try and ride him was a young lad called Ben Towers, a questionable 17 years of age. He came from Kudamundra. Young Ben claimed to be a capable rider, but Bill had other ideas. After several attempts, it seemed that Bill would allow only one person to ride him, Major Michael Shanahan. Shanahan persuaded his captain, Banjo Patterson, to let him take into battle. He felt sure that Bill would be the ideal horse for the job. In, in the thick of the Battle of Romani, Romani with four soldiers down, Shanahan rode Bill under heavy Turkish fire and with super strength, got the four soldiers on, making it five in total on Bill, and returned them to safety. After Bill had a big drink, Shanahan said to Toss, it's time to get back, Bill. You're a bloody marvel. And so they rolled back into the thick of raging war. It was soon that after that, Shanahan was shot in the thigh and Bill was shot twice. They st still they continued to fight until Shanahan collapsed into the saddle. Bill was aware of the seriousness of the situation. situation and took Shanahan three kilometers through the fighting straight to the vet. He was then taken to the vet. As a result of his injuries, Shanahan, Shanahan unfortunately lost his leg. He helped Bill to become a hero and also became a DSM hero, DSM hero himself. What a man, what a horse, what a hero. Back after this short break. Welcome back. Let's check out what else is happening in weather across the country. This is Bella Pollard from Trudy News. There is bad weather coming to Harden. There will be thunder, rain and strong winds. Um, going? Going to out throwing oh throw over to weather person. Keep a motley. 
Over to you, Kiva. I'm at the front of Trinity Catholic School. I can see the clouds are looking, looking very gloomy and there is likely, likely to be Drizzle. drizzling which will turn turn into rain when when, when the buses arrive go the students are probably going to get wet thanks for joining us tonight i'm eddie elephant live from trinity nifty news with k12